Sinesh. How are you going? Hi, Jay. Yeah, Jed. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you so much for reaching out to me to be your celebrant for your commitment ceremony, which is very, very exciting. Um, obviously, today is just a bit of a phone call to go over the details of the ceremony in particular um, and what you're sort of wanting out of me as your celebrant and out of the ceremony as a whole. So um, I know you've told me a little bit about what you want over messages and in our initial phone call, um, but this will just be getting all the information I need for my booking sheet to be able to curate a really beautiful ceremony for the both of you. So just to start off, I'll need both of your full names. So Reese, what's your full name? Uh, Reese James Ellis. And just best contact phone number for you, Reese. Uh, 04748587267. And just an email address. Uh, Reese Ellis987 at gmail.com. Perfect. And Ash, what's your full name? Uh, Ashley Marie Mason. I believe all right. And just the best contact phone number for you, Ash? Uh, 0408. Yep. 281. Yep. 993. And just an email address? Um, Ashley M. Mason. In the middle at Perfect. All right. So, um, first and foremost, what is the date that you have picked for your ceremony? Uh, September 18th, we've decided on. Perfect. And do you have a time of day for the ceremony? Um, probably what, two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Afternoon. Afternoon, two to three. Around that time. All right, I'm just going to double check that I'm free. I know I've tentatively booked it in. Perfect. All right, I've got that available for you guys. Um, and where were you looking at having the ceremony? We're thinking outdoors at my parents' house, so on Gumbau Creek in Leechville. Beautiful. Yes. Perfect. All right. So I've got the particulars about it, where it's going to be um, day and time. So obviously to put together a really nice ceremony for you guys, I need to know a little bit more about the both of you. So how did you two meet? Um, we originally met on Tinder. You know, what? modern love story. <laughs> modern love story. Story. And was it love at first swipe? Oh, nah, it took a bit of work. It did, it did. So about a month or two back and forth messaging, I reckon it was. Yeah. And I only responded in every two to three business days. Yeah. So that made it pretty tricky as well. Yeah, I didn't think she was that interested <laughs> at first, but, you know. Wow. Yes, yeah, it is. But no, and then... um. We met in person at the Federal Hotel in Swan Hill. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. So that was your first date? Uh, no, actually. Happen, happens, Dad? Happens, Chad? Yeah, just kind of. I was um driving my mates back home from the races, so they were all out drinking and I was being deso. Possible. And Ash happened to be out at the races and we just kind of, yeah. Cross pass. That was what? Beautiful. Two, three days before our first day. Mm, yes. Mm. Wow. Okay. So it started off with Tinder. You obviously, there was a bit of back and forth. And then, how long into obviously your, um, I guess, you know, the, the back and forth communication, did one of you or both of you realize that you obviously wanted to pursue something? Um, oh. Probably, probably after the first day. Yeah. I think, I think the first day went pretty well. Solidified it. He listened to me while my voice was still ruined from yelling and screaming at the races. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. What up with that? Beautiful. It was pretty early on then for you guys. It obviously sounds like you're really in tune with each other, which is um, 
always a beautiful thing. And obviously I try and pick up on these things so I can include it in your ceremony. Um, just out of curiosity, what do the both of you do for work? Reese? what do you do? Uh, I manage a cafe in Swan Hill, um, yeah. which I have done. I've been managing places for uh, two or three years now. So I always work in hospitality. Yeah. And Ash, what do you do? An employment consultant. So I'm a youth worker by trade, but now working for disability employment. Nice. Yeah. You're busy. And you're both full time? Yeah. Well, and yeah. well, really. Grace and me, usually just the normal amount. <laughs> so you're very busy people, sounds yeah. like. All right. So um, obviously you've told me a little bit about you guys. Um, so moving forward, obviously, to put together your ceremony, I will ask you a few other questions, but what I'll need from you is I actually need, obviously, your story of how you met, things you love about each other, little special things that you do together, any special holidays you've been on, any really important memories that you've made together so far that you want mentioned in your ceremony, send them through to me um, basically just as a Word document or as a PDF. I'll send you my email address. Send that through to me and then that will help me to curate a ceremony for the both of you. Um, other any special readings or poems you'd like included in the ceremony? Um, no, nothing in particular. Maybe yep. what we send through to you, is that something you want us to make together or yeah. we do one separately? How do you yeah, so do that? Yes, you can, you can do it together um, and then anything else you think of, you can just add it onto that document. So if there are any special poems that you come across or any readings that you think might be useful in the ceremony just add them yeah. into that document and send that through yeah, um so. will the both of you be doing any personal vows so obviously because it's a commitment ceremony there is no legality to it as such yeah. um it isn't a wedding in any regard it is purely just a commitment to each other um in front of obviously your friends and family and your loved ones but you still have that opportunity to make personal vows to each other just like at a wedding. So is that something that yeah. you would be looking at doing? I think, yeah, I think definitely. I think yep. if we could do that like privately, not in the actual like commitment ceremony, oh, so yeah. like after just kind of us two. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. Um, okay. And will there be any exchange of symbols? So um, I know with some couples, they obviously still like the idea of exchanging a ring. Um, some people do exchange something like a bracelet or um, even a brooch, a necklace. Some people exchange flowers. It's really up to you, but rings is probably the most common one. Is that something yeah. you're wanting to do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's rings. something we'll still, yeah, exchange as yep. well. Yeah. Perfect. And are there any rituals or anything like that you can think of that you would like included? Um, I don't think so, unless you were thinking of something. But... I don't have anything in particular. I'm trying to sort of incorporate the creek as the property is obviously back in the population of the water yeah. or you might yeah. have to get back Sounds to your... Sounds very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if we could oh, have yeah. a little bit of think about that one. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, and are there any themes or colours for the ceremony? This would be the opportunity for me to also tie in any cue cards or my tie with any theme that you've got going. Yeah. yeah I um, It's got, we're sort of in a natural green yeah. landscape, but then native, sort of native but bright. Natives, but, yeah, really bright natives, kind of just neutral and bright colours. Yeah. You know, yeah, kind of, low, but, yeah, yeah, not like the traditional, just everyone in black pants and a white tee, you know, button up, kind of jazz it up a little bit, you know. We kind of want to bring that out in the ceremony because, you know, we feel like we're them type of people rather than, you know, just straight up straight, and down. Straight laced, yeah. Straight laced, for some might say. So bright colours. All right, that's fine. I can run anything I wear by the... 
by the both of you and then you can obviously say yay or nay. That's up to you. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Um, all right, so we've made a really good start so far. Um, so with commitment ceremonies, you've probably seen on my website, um, so they're $500 plus GST, so $550. Um, it's a $200 deposit and that's paid up front. And then obviously once I receive that, I can start curating your ceremony. Um, your balance, so the remaining $350 <laughs> will be due and payable two weeks prior to your ceremony. This is just to ensure that obviously it's a really busy time leading up to any sort of a ceremony. So I like to make sure that it's paid. There's no issue about money on the day or leading up to the day. And you know that it's there, it's been paid and you don't have to worry about it again. Um, that's sent to you via post or email, whatever you prefer. Um, the deposit is non-refundable, but if for whatever reason after your ceremony you feel that you would like a refund, I obviously cross that bridge when I get to it. Um, it's obviously not something that happens very often, couples wanting refunds, but there is the option there that you can get a refund if you are unhappy with the service or the ceremony that you've received. Um, yep. Would you like a commitment ceremony certificate? That is something that I do offer. It's at no extra charge, but it's up to the couple yeah. whether or not they want. Might as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Perfect. sounds good. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Legality. Yeah. Pardon, what was that? Formality without the legality, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Exactly right. Um, is there any other questions that either of you have at the moment? No, I don't think so. Not at the moment, but if you think of them, we're happy for us to run yeah. that document. And yeah, and let's send you a message. Yeah, absolutely. Send me a message. We can hop on another Zoom call um, any time leading up to the ceremony. We've, we've obviously got lots of time leading up to September, so, um, yeah, we'll yeah, be in contact. So I'll send you through my banking details for the deposit. Yeah. Once that's been paid, we can obviously make a start on the, the ceremony. And then once you get your information through to me, that's when I can really start to put it together. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime... Perhaps start to think about your personal vows to each other. Obviously, that's not something I'm going to be a part of, but um, I yeah. will let obviously friends and family know it's something you'll be doing in private. It's just something that you can think about, yeah, between now and then. Wonderful. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, I'll send those banking details through. We can make a start on the ceremony and get things happening. Awesome. awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. That's all right. No worries, guys. Love See ya. Bye. Bye.